In this video, we are going to cover one of our newest features, Network Query Engine. If you're familiar with forward networks, you know that we create a behaviorally accurate software model of large networks to analyze them for configuration errors, policy compliance, security issues, and more. That analysis is based on our collecting configuration files and state information from each device in the network and managing all that information in a large data model. Many of our customers have told us that they have important use cases or IT processes that could leverage this data beyond how we use it in the forward platform. So we have decided to make this enormous information repository available to other applications through a very flexible and easy to use query language and API. This effectively allows your entire network to be queried like a database for the first time. Some of the sample queries that users could now write would be, do all my distribution layer access links have redundant paths? Are maximum transmission unit parameters consistent across all device connections? What are the nearest neighbors of a particular down device? Are all IP addresses unique across the entire network? Are my BGP advertised routes imported correctly into my upstream routers as expected? These queries can be extremely valuable because they allow quick policy checks across all devices in a potentially large network. You are essentially running your query across all devices if needed, rather than hunting for issues one box and one configuration file at a time. Like the main use case of our platform, this can obviously avert outages when these issues are detected ahead of time. Many organizations write software scripts to perform these policy checks, but there are a few challenges. Programmatically accessing all the devices and pulling the relevant information is not an easy task. Then when you consider you may have many routing and firewall vendors running various versions of operating systems, it's challenging to parse the gathered data into a consistent format that can be used productively. Some customers have told us that it takes several man months just to perform this data gathering and normalization task to write one query. I'm gonna show how NQE improves this situa situation dramatically. It helps that the data collection, parsing of the files, and normalizing the data is the hard part, and that this has become one of the core competencies of forward networks for our own product. So we've done the hard work already for you across all device types and all major vendors. And we have truly normalized the data between vendors, so a query about the port status of a router looks the same whether it's reporting on Cisco, Arista, Juniper, or all three. The other key concept to understand is how we are making it very easy to access this data model we have built. The key decision we made was to use a new data model query language called GraphQL. GraphQL was created by Facebook and made an open source project in 2015. It has hundreds of companies leveraging it precisely because it is more efficient and flexible than prior alternatives. GraphQL allows you to design query objects that specify the fields of data that you want, and it returns exactly the data that is requested in the format of a JSON object that can be embedded easily in an application or scripting language like Python. As I go into the demo, you'll see how easily queries can be built and modified using GraphQL. <clears throat> Before I get into that demo, let me summarize again what NQE in Forward Enterprise is doing. We are collecting a bunch of text files from across the network, parsing out the relevant information, and normalizing the information into a graphical data model. You can then build a query in GraphQL along the lines of, show me all the port interfaces in my network where the administrative state is different than the operational state. And usually where I want the interface up, but it turns out to be down. Depending on how the Python script or equivalent formats that result, we can get a quick report on where such problems may be from across a network of thousands of devices as shown in the lower right table. In the following demo, I'll show how we quickly write the query and what the results look like. So with that, let's get into the demo. 
We are in Forward Enterprise, and we are looking at a large demo network we have collected already. We can click on any device in the network, like this Juniper router, and see the configuration file and all the state information details, like ARC table, port interfaces, and more. These are the text files that are being pulled into our graphical data model. And we've got over 100 devices to query across using NQE in this example. We can go into the GraphQL query editor with a link at the lower left. On the left side pane, we have the query builder. The results pane is in the middle, and we have a documentation help pane on the right, which we can open up. Let's do a search on name attributes, and we see a list of fields we could start to put into our queries. We have an initial query up here on the left that is asking for all devices to return the name of the device, the model, and the OS and version that it's running. Let's execute that and see what is returned. So we see a long list of data objects for each device with the formatted device name, model, and OS version as requested. When this JSON object is returned in a Python script, we could easily compare the returned values to the most up-to-date version of the OS and identify which devices need to be updated. Let's now start to build a new query that matches the example I described initially, comparing the admin and operational status of each interface on every device. Let's remove the platform portion of our existing query. Just for fun, we can re-execute that query and see that just the list of device names is returned. But let's start to add what we need to collect the interface attributes. As soon as I type IN, I can autocomplete interfaces and then add a bracket to dive into subfields. I want to grab the interface name now and the status fields. I start to type in status and I'm shown the particular attributes I need admin status, and operational status. I can also go over to the documentation pane and enter status to see what's available. I can again see that both interfaces and sub-interfaces have admin status and opera status attributes, and I can even look at the range of possible return values for each. Let's insert both of those into our query and then execute. Again, we get a long list of interfaces on each device and status. The first device is our F5 load balancer, and we can see most everything looks normal, but interfaces 1.3 and 4 are down. On our second device, a core router in the same data center, interfaces 1 and 5 are down. Now the goal is not to manually scroll through this long list of devices, but it would be a small matter of a few dozen lines of code to detect these discrepancies and output a small table like we showed earlier, highlighting the issues. Hopefully that gives you an idea how easy it will be going forward to build a wide range of really useful queries to check on health status across the network. Man months to build a single query is now reduced to a few minutes or less, and this feature is now available in our Ford Enterprise platform for customers to start to try out. Before I wrap up, I will point you to our new GitHub repository for our network query engine, where we have much more documentation, sample code, use cases, and more. We invite our users to contribute to this public repository with additional code templates, examples, and requests for enhancements. The GitHub repository is at github.com slash forward networks slash network hyphen query hyphen engine hyphen examples. Hopefully this video isn't your first exposure to forward networks, but if so, we have many more general product demonstration and use case videos on our website and YouTube channel to get a better feel for the product. And for more information, you can always visit forwardnetworks.com or follow us on Twitter at FWD Networks.